Hey, what's up guys? Technology Brat and uh, Twitter.com slash Technology Brat. Today we're doing the Ghost Armor full body uh, unboxing and installation for the iPhone 4. And we're going to do a giveaway on this as well. So I want to say thanks again so much to the guys over at uh, Ghost Armor for um, providing this for, you know, review, for testing, and uh, also including a second one for giveaway, just like we did for the iPhone 4 and the iPad. Um, which the uh, giveaway winners is coming up uh, very soon sometime this week on those guys I've already shot the videos uh, I'm just trying to space them out on as far as you know how soon we post them so in the box again guys we got uh, you know one for you and one for me uh, on these solutions and then same thing with the squeegees um, and we've got two kits one here for me and one here for you so that's coming up in the giveaway in a little bit but let's go ahead and get the uh, actual installation uh, taken care of and then we'll get to the giveaway details in a little while um, I don't know that anybody has posted any um, you know ghost armor full body um, for the iPod nano 6th generation just yet so hopefully this will be a first um, check it out same set of instructions that we had before and then you can see inside the stuff that they're going to give us you know one of these is for the screen one's for the back a couple of side pieces a couple of top pieces and we're just going to kind of have to I guess look and see which one is which because it doesn't say I wonder is that one that one looks like the screen one and the one for the back I'd imagine actually that one looks like it's probably for the back yeah and that one's gonna be for the screen it's kinda hard to tell but you just kinda have to I guess look and feel for yourself okay so let's get that out of the way get a little cleaning cloth here and uh, let me double check to make sure that the same solution. It should be solutions for all of it. Blah 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 blah. Six inches. Yeah, same the same same installation instructions. So we decided that that's gonna be for the screen. So we'll go ahead get this cleaned up real quick. And let's see if we can maybe even zoom this camera in a little bit. I don't know how good this is gonna zoom. Let's try it here. Try and still keep it to where it's, you know, going to stay focused for us. And I think that's not too bad. Okay, got that there. Get all the dust out of there. And I'm going to peel this, this one there off. I'm going to spray my fingertips. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it off. And we'll see if this is as easy as it was on the iPhone 4 and the iPad. And yep, it's just going to come off real easy. And give it a good spray. I'm just going to lay it right down. Try and move it around where we need to. And uh, that looks pretty good. And trying to see if we've got it lined up pretty well. While it's wet is when you want to kind of move it around. And it looks pretty good, guys. I think I'm going to try and stick with that. going to try and hold it while we squeegee out the liquids. And uh, it's kind of odd doing a screen shield install on something this small, but you know what? After I took the other one running and dropped it, you know, it's definitely necessary. I was lucky the screen didn't get uh, scratched up, but I did scratch up the uh, side of the iPod for sure. And I uh, was just kind of lucky enough it was in the, you know, 15-day window to where I could take it back and not have to, you know, pay any more than a restocking fee to you know basically we'll not get a new one i just returned it because i had already ordered this one uh, but that's pretty good you saw how quick that went on there and uh, just like any of the other you know uh, full body um you know with the uh, solution sprays it's just going to take a little while for it to um dry completely so i'll leave i'll leave it sit before i even ever use it um 
but that looks pretty good no bubbles or anything in there and uh, it was pretty easy to install no issues there and let's go ahead and do the back same thing I'm just gonna get my fingers wet and it really is easier to just get your fingers wet that way if you know you don't have to worry about really getting fingerprints on the underside of the uh, screen shield um, because you know if your fingers are wet the solution you're really just not gonna have to worry about it at all and we're just gonna lay this down again same same process and perfect just goes on super easy and I got I gotta tell you guys this ghost armor it seems like it just goes right where it needs to and just stays right where it needs to it is I, I don't know I just have never had an easier time installing the solution screen shields not that I have a ton of experience with it I just mess with the zags a little bit um, I know there's some other companies out there like bodyguards and I'm sure there's more that uses solutions um, SGP I did one of theirs and um, nothing has gone on as easy as these ghost armor full body kits I mean it's just been I don't know if their solutions different their materials um, what it is but man look how easy that went on just perfect and it's uh you almost can't even tell what's on there look at that perfect front protect it back protected now these side pieces are going to be the tricky parts i imagine that these just straight stick on i'm not sure if we need solution for these or not um going back to the instructions let's see if it says anything on smaller pieces do not spray the armor simply apply without solution okay so we're just going to apply these straight away with no solution and looks like these are both the same size so i'm just going to go ahead and peel these off and I'm just going to sort of probably right around the screen start it right up against it and just kind of fold it around and that's really easy really simple gonna keep the side of it protected for sure and that is where when I drop the other one and that orange especially if you guys have one with color I mean it's going to scrape the color right off of it. And if I had had this on there, uh, I would have uh, really avoided damaging it. That went on super easy. This side's going to be just as easy. Now, this device is a little bit different to have entire full body protection, like with nothing exposed. Uh, but th this kit looks like it's pretty good on... It's going to get enough protection to where you're really not going to have... I don't think, you know, too many unexposed uh, areas that you're going to have to worry about too much of the iPod. Oop, doing that off camera, sorry about that. You know, getting too scratched up. Of course, you're going to have this, this interior area, you know, where the clip is. But, you know, it's not going to fall on the inside of that. So you don't really have to worry about that. You know, there's these little areas down here and up here. Um, the buttons, of course, but we're going to be able to get protection around most of it. And let's see. Oh, did they give you? Check that out. They gave you a, actually even a little, kind of hard to see there, right there. It's a button cover. So they're actually giving you a thing to uh, put on your sleep wake button. That's pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen that. Let's go ahead and get that one on there real quick. I've never seen a, a piece specifically for a sleep wake button on any other device but with this being you know kind of a brushed uh, silver not brushed silver brushed metal whatever you want to call it it's a good idea because if you drop that it's definitely going to scratch so why not have a little protection on it absolutely perfect and there one on there you can see clock and um, this is easy, guys. You, you, you're seeing firsthand how easy this is to apply. And, um, you know, it's going to give us plenty of protection, that's for sure. At least much more than we otherwise would have. 
and uh, it's just you know real easy just apply it and go the spray part was easy and these parts are you know as small as this is and as hard as you would think that some of these smaller pieces would be to get on here it's just it's really pretty easy I mean it's hard to do it wrong I don't know if we're gonna yeah it kind of focus there for us you know and I didn't do the most perfect job it's a little sloppy on this positioning but I mean you don't have to get it perfect it's gonna protect it either way it goes so as long as it's on there I mean it, it, if it hasn't if you drop it, it has any sort of contact you know it's gonna be positioned in a way that it's gonna hit the the full body ghost armor before it hits your any of the other areas check that out this part's coming off and put that there and then we're gonna be done and that is it so check that out and now of course I mean I don't know if that's gonna come through on camera but you can see the solution in there it's not dry yet uh, after 24 hours it should be perfectly dry and we'll do a review on this as well whenever we do the giveaway winner announcement um, but you can see no bubbles in there. I mean, you can see the solution in there that's still going to need to dry. Same thing on the back. Um, the back looks pretty good. There doesn't even... You can see a little bit of uh, some of the solution and stuff in there, but not bad. The side, fine. This side. Try and get it to focus. Yeah, you almost... If you, if you didn't know it was on there, you wouldn't know it was on there. Unless you looked up, you know, pretty close. Get this to focus. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom back out here. Because now we can get it to focus pretty close this way. <laughs> Maybe not. As the camera's getting tired. But anyways, guys, that is the Ghost Armor full body for the iPod Nano 6th generation. You saw how easy it was to apply. It took me, you know, probably a right around 10 minutes. No big deal. And, uh, I mean, it was really easy. I think anybody could do that. Um, you saw, If you're watching this video, just do it exactly like I did, and you'll have no problems at all. Um, and that's it, guys. So if you want to get uh, in on the giveaway, if you guys have an iPod Nano 6th generation, you want to get some full body protection on it, uh, I don't even know if anybody has anything out yet. Ghost Armor, bam, they already do. They already sent it. And uh, we're going to give one of these away right now as well. We'll give it away when we do the full review. Um, so if you want to get in on the giveaway, let's do Ghost Armor Nano, dash your comment. Ghost Armor Nano, dash your comment, and you're in on the giveaway for the Ghost Armor full body for the iPod Nano 6th generation. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Ghost Armor, thank you guys so much for uh, sending this out. I'll just go ahead and lay this out there. You know, you guys get your advertisement on there since you were nice enough to send it out. Uh, your guys' the full body kits are awesome, guys. I've got the reviews for the iPhone 4, um, which is right here, the Ghost Armor. There you can see it does work with the uh, Apple bumper. Um, I've also got it for the iPod, or excuse me, the iPad reviews, giveaway winners, all coming up this week, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Technology Brat. Uh, dot com twitter.com slash technology brat you guys rock and uh good luck on the giveaway thanks guys